What's up guys, in today's video I'll be showing you how I breed my peacock gudgeons. I apologize in advance for any out of focus shots, but focusing on a moving fish is kinda hard. Also, I'll put my water parameters on the screen and in the description for you guys. Okay, so first of all, these two you're seeing right now are my breeding pair. This is the male, and this is the female. They're in a 10 gallon with a few cherry shrimp. In the wild, peacock gudgeons spawn in small caves and in between rocks. To replicate this in captivity, we use PVC pipes. I like to use half inch white PVC pipes that are open on both sides. You also want to make sure the tank is heavily planted, because peacock gudgeons are very shy fish and won't breed if they don't feel safe. Okay, next step is conditioning the pair with the right foods. Live foods work best. I like to use frozen bloodworms and frozen mice shrimp. In this video, you can see what their spawning dance looks like. If your water parameters are good, then the male should start showing off and flaring his fins at the female. The male will then start nudging her and pushing her towards his chosen cave where the spawning begins. This is what they look like inside the cave. Once they're inside, the male will continuously push against the female to convince her to lay a clutch of eggs. The female will then stick the eggs to the side of the cave and the male will come and fertilize them. Once this is done, the male will kick the female out of the cave. Now, the male will stay in the cave and fan his eggs as well as pull out any dead or fungus covered eggs. During this time, he's very defensive over the cave and won't let any other fish, including the female, go near the cave. You can see here, he refused to leave the cave even when I was holding it. But this is also where you have to be careful. The male will fan the eggs for a few days, but on around day 5, most males decide to eat the entire clutch. I pull the eggs when I see little black eyes on the babies like you see in this video. I then put them in a separate tub with an air stone on one end of the cave. This keeps the water flowing through the eggs and acts like the male fanning them. In about a day or two, the baby peacock gudgeons hatch and leave the cave. But they stay very still and feed on the egg yolk for the first 24 hours. This macro lens shot is a baby peacock gudgeon at 24 hours after coming out of the cave. After the first 24 hours, you can start feeding them. For the first week, I feed them a mix of Infusoria, white worms, as well as Hikari first bites and New Life Spectrum fry starter. Variety is key. In this shot, they're chasing white worms, but the white worms are too small to be seen on camera. At about two weeks, the babies are now old enough to start eating Daphnia and baby brine shrimp. I don't have the space to culture live food, so I use frozen. And from there, they keep growing. This is what the babies look like at one month old. Okay, that's it for this video, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button. And if you want to see more fish breeding how-tos, then please subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.